Howdy, Ando here from senseiando.com and Happy Life Martial Arts. The palm heel strike is a simple and effective self-defense technique. Unfortunately, when I see many people practicing the palm heel strike, either on a heavy bag or on pads, they actually make it look awkward and ineffective. Today, let me give you one quick tip to make sure that your palm heel strike feels really good for you and absolutely awful for the bad guy. A few years ago, I was playing the part of the bad guy at a women's self-defense workshop, and I saw a woman break her wrist using a palm heel strike. How could that happen? I mean, isn't the palm heel strike supposedly the safe alternative to using your fist to punch somebody in the face? She thought so. Well, the answer is yes. In general, a palm heel strike is safer than a fist, but you still have to do it right. Doing it right means, number one, hitting with the bottom of your hand, not the middle of your palm and not your fingers. You want to use the heel of your hand. Heel of your foot, heel of your hand, the bones at the bottom. Number two, you want to make sure that your body is lined up properly behind your hand. Let me show you something. If you saw my video, How to Punch in a Street Fight, you already know my philosophy on hand strikes. The best fist is the one that fits. So let's take a look at how the palm heel strike fits the average heavy bag, or in this case, a standing bag. Now, most bags will present you with a rounded surface, much like the human head, unless your name is Square Bob Sponge Pants. Now, here's the problem. Most people square up with a rounded bag, and when they're trying to hit the center line as if hitting the nose, they hit with a flat palm heel strike. Now, do you see the problem with that? If I square up with you the same way I just squared up with that bag, and I lift up my arms to the center line, my hands don't face to the front. I make a triangle, not a square. If I want to hit down the center line with my hand, I actually have to turn my wrist or twist it. That's not a natural position. You'll see the same problem in some styles of traditional karate or kung fu where they might warm up in a squared off stance and then fire off punches down the center line. Same problem. If I just lift up my arm naturally, my knuckles are not facing center line. To do that, I have to twist my wrist and now I've got a flush surface to the front. Don't do that. If you twist your wrist, you're gonna break your wrist. So how can you use the palm heel safely when attacking on the center line? I've got two answers for you. The first answer is to not be so obsessed with hitting the nose straight on or hitting straight under the chin. Just let your hand hit on its natural angle. When you're hitting the bag, instead of twisting that wrist, just let your hand fit the contour of the bag. Let your hand fit the target. Now, if that means instead of hitting the nose straight on, you're hitting some cheekbone in the side of the nose, or you're catching some of the eye, great. If instead of the point of the chin, you're a little off center and driving up on this angle, great. Are those still effective shots? Hell yeah, I don't wanna get hit with those. As a matter of fact, they might be more effective because I think you'll have more confidence putting full power behind that strike unlike the people I see who put themselves in these awkward positions when they practice, it's like they instinctively know this is not a strong position, so they hold back. Also, since you're not gonna hurt your hand or be as likely to hurt your hand, that means you can hit over and over again as many times as you need to to escape that situation safely. The second way that you can hit down the center line safely with your palm heel, if you absolutely must hit the nose dead on or hit the chin straight up, is to simply take your body offline. Instead of squaring up and trying to put your hand in the middle, put your hand on the target but move your body out. That's probably a better idea in most situations anyway to get your body off the center line. When you do that, it's gonna feel just like a push-up, shoulder behind your hand. That's gonna feel pretty strong. But don't take my word for it. Let's put it to a quick test. Warning, if you try this, you might break your wrist. So don't say I didn't tell you so. Only try this at your own risk. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set myself into a push-up position with my hands underneath my shoulders the way they should be. Now from here, I'm gonna take away one hand. Now if that's a palm heel strike, I'd be fine. My wrist feels good. Now let's set it up the other way. I'm squared up and I'm thinking about hitting that guy right flat on the nose. All right, now I'm gonna take away one hand. Ah, that sucks. <laughs> Don't do that. Pretend I never even mentioned this exercise. That was a stupid test. If you twist your wrist, you're gonna break your wrist. 
Don't forget that when it comes to the palm heel. But there's a bigger lesson here too. There's really no such thing as a safe fighting technique. Every move you learn, every move you practice has the potential to hurt you, not just the bad guy. So listen to your body and train smart. If you like this video, please hit subscribe, maybe even give it a thumbs up. But to keep up with all my new videos and all my new podcasts and all the general shenanigans that I'm into, find the link to sign up for my free email updates list. Until next time, keep smiling, my friend, and keep fighting for a happy life.